management business law the tax treaty between France and Nepal India. Presented by Jagdish Adhikari from Nepal for the IAE University of Bordeaux France course MBA in European Business Management Masters 2 year at France. According to the French tax law, foreign source income is taxable in France unless specifically excluded by a treaty. Residents are entitled to tax credits for what paid on certain types of income from other tax treaty countries. Foreign source income exempt from French tax by virtue of a tax treaty is, nevertheless, added to income taxable in France either to determine the French tax rate applicable to income taxable in France, exemption with progression, or to calculate gross French tax liability, from which tax paid abroad is deducted, tax credit system, depending on the applicable tax treaty. The IRS provides a list of tax treaty documents between France and other countries, including Nepal. The documents include the Income Tax Treaty, Technical Explanation, and Protocol. The Tax Treaty Between France and India DTA DTA between India and France is a bilateral agreement the objective of which is promoting economic trade and avoiding double taxation. As per Section 90 of Income Tax Act, a non-resident Indian who pays tax on income in any other contracting state will get a deduction from tax on that income. DTA or Double Taxation Avoidance Agreement is a bilateral agreement between two countries that aims to promote economic trade and avoid double taxation. The benefits of DTA include Lower withholding tax DTA provides relief to individuals and businesses operating across borders by reducing the amount of tax deducted at source or TDS. Complete waiver from being taxed DTA provides a complete waiver from being taxed in both countries for the same income. Credits for taxes paid on the income that has been taxed twice, under DTA, credits are provided for taxes paid on the income that has been taxed twice, which can be encashed in the future. Tax exemptions, DTA provides tax exemptions on certain types of income. Avoiding double taxation on the same income. DTA ensures that the same income is not taxed twice in both countries. Low chance of tax evasion in either the two signatory countries or both, DTA helps to minimize the opportunity for tax evasion for taxpayers in either or both of the countries between which the bilateral bar oblique multilateral DTA agreement has been signed. On 1st August 1994, the agreement between the government of India and France regarding avoidance of double taxation came into action. The double tax avoidance agreement between India and France has a total of 31 articles. India-France DTA will work in a manner where a resident of India who earns or owns capital here will have to pay taxes in France, while India will give a deduction on the amount of income tax paid. In case a resident of India earns income, which is taxable in France, the Income Tax Department of India will give a deduction on tax paid in France. These articles discuss definitions of taxes, contracting states, taxation of interest, dividends, business profits, etc. Apart from that, these articles also discuss air transport, capital gains, non-government pension and annuities and much more. Therefore, this agreement offers a clear understanding of taxation of different incomes for residents of contracting states, India and France. Significance of India-France DTA for both countries. DTA between India and France equally benefits residents of both countries India and France in terms of investment and tax benefits.
Here are some of the benefits that residents of both contracting states will get. DTA makes the countries attractive for investing without having to worry about double taxation. According to the agreement, you need to pay tax on income you earn from different sources in only one country. DTA ensures that only genuine residents of both countries get the benefits of this agreement. Lower withholding tax, which means that taxpayers have to pay lower TDS on dividend, royalty and interest income in contracting states. This agreement also reduces possibility of tax evasion of residents in both the contracting states. Taxes covered under DTA According to Article 2 of DTA between India and France, the taxes on which this convention is applicable are as follows. In France, French tax. Income tax is known as import sur les revenus, along with any withholding tax, advance payment or prepayment in relation to it is known as pregnant. Wealth tax is known as import de solidarite sur la fortuna. Corporation tax is referred to as import sur les cites along with withholding tax. Any advance payment or prepayment associated with it is known as pregnant. In India, Indian tax. Income tax along with surcharge applicable on it. Wealth tax. Sur tax. Apart from all the taxes mentioned above, the convention will also be applicable to any identical or similar tax that is imposed by any of the contracting states after date of signature of the agreement. Authorities of contracting states need to notify each other about any changes or addition made to their taxation laws. India-France DTA DDS rates Tax is deductible at source when a non-resident receives payment. The percentage of tax deduction is, however, prescribed in the relevant DTA. As per India-France DTA, withholding tax rate applicable is 10%. Whether you earn royalty, dividends, interest or fees for technical services, the rate of TDS shall not exceed 10%. This rate is, however, different for DTA between India and other countries. Taxation on Capital Gains under DTA Article 14 of Double Tax Avoidance Agreement between India and France deals with taxation rules applicable to capital gains. These are as follows. If a resident of a contracting state earns from any immovable property, which may include agriculture and forestry, which is situated in the other contracting state, Capital gain is taxable in the other contracting state itself. Income from movable property that is being used for business purposes in the other contracting state is taxable in the other contracting state only. In case of income earned from operation of ships or aircraft in international traffic or any movable property relating to operations of ships and aircraft, it will be taxable in the contracting state of which the person who owns it is a resident. If a resident earns by owning shares of capital stocks of a company whose property directly or indirectly includes immovable property located in the contracting state, gains will be taxed in the contracting state. Capital gains from shares of at least 10% of a company owned by resident of contracting state will be taxed in the contracting state. Capital gains from other types of property than the ones mentioned above will be taxable in the contracting state of resident. Summary as final word. Non-resident Indians residing in France can avail tax benefits mentioned under DTA between India and France by submitting some documents every financial year within the due date. These include a tax residency certificate, PAN number and Form 10F. Process to apply for DTA is also extremely simple. 
which allows hassle-free taxation. References Double tax avoidance agreement, DTA, between India and France, clear tax point in.